Getting off to a flying start is the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? Stay with us on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is Stuart Robson. And today it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Kyle Walker plays with Kieran Trippier as fullbacks. Jude Bellingham starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. Well, they've given him too much space. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Regained possession. And defensive play to be applauded. Well, last time out at the Euros, England fell at the final hurdle, losing in the final itself at the hands of Italy on penalties. But you look at the squad, you look at where England should be, and we're led to believe, Stuart, that this could well be England's Euros. Absolutely. I think England are a very good team. They've got a manager that... Bellingham! And the post denied him. But it just petered out. Benjamin Sheshko. Well, that was a bit unlucky, because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances. Well, Phil Foden, a player who I think was born to wow the crowd. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Jude Bellingham. Is it going to be? And saved by the keeper. Walker, a very timely interception. Oh, great attacking play. Electing to cross into the centre. Well, you have to marvel at the technique, but no end result for him. Well, he did almost everything right there. Good skill, great contact, but not quite the accuracy. Pressing like that will help the cause. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Can they forge ahead? And danger still. Surely stopped a certain goal and he finds the net he could hardly miss. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. And England get us moving again. A quick response required after the setback. Saka. This looks promising. Well, nothing comes of it. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And he's in. Well, fantastic. 
classic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Takes the shot. Palmed away by the keeper. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Gives it a go. A tremendous block. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. And the short option preferred. That's a useful cross. And well positioned to clear. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you? Think, Stuart? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Good play it in. Well, I take my hat off to him because that was superb defending. Walker. Now, can England take advantage of this set piece? They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Going short. Crossed accurately towards the far post. Oh, that's not a good clearance. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. Really nice ball. Real chance. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Trippier. Well, was an effort for his own personal scrapbook. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Now they've lost it. And England pushing forward with options available. Fine cross into the middle. 
But at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. A very timely interception. Bukayo Saka. Good looking sequence. A chance to eat into their lead. Oh, not to be! Stopping a certain goal. And the referee sensibly allowing them to carry on. Advantage with them. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Jesko, well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Having to shoot. Oh, great block. Saka. Now Harry Kane. Anthony Gordon. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. That's useful play. Could pull one back here. He can't hold on to it. But he took care of it defensively. Five minutes to go. into the penalty area high pressing and good high pressing and played in and there it is all in the melting pot now and what a finale we could have in store for us well here's the replay and what a well delivered cross this is perfectly placed and it ends up with a fairly simple finish certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that so the ball is rolling again 2-1 the scoreline not totaling up all the stoppages we'll have two additional minutes Verbic well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Firing it in. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. Playing it in. Good bit of defending. And the final whistle. It's a tale of woe for England. A defeat here. Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.